And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Olympico here as we uh, host uh, Pescara here in a Serie A matchup. Quick look at the table here. You can see we're sitting in ninth place on 40 points. Uh, Pescara down in 16th with 28. Taking a look at the home side uh, lineups. We've gone back to the 4-2-3-1. Uh, we got El Arribi up top with Para come flanking it behind to the cam spot. Uh, everybody else, same positions as last time. And for Pescara... Now this side, we drew even within the last matchup, 2-2. They employed the 4-3-3. Honda winds up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Honda. <laughs> you dirty dog, you. What a strike. 35 yards out, buries at top shelf. Can we get a replay of this? Look at this. Just... Really, kind of a hard free kick, but look at that top shelf into the corner. Keeper had no chance. What a strike on the ball. Perfect power. The keeper had no chance. Just look at this ball once again. Oh, just a beautiful free kick. And look at that, just squeezed under the bar and in. That well. We'll see what they do here. I bet they lay it off. Now they go for the strike. And that was way over the bar. Oh, no. Oh, what a through ball, Marchetti. Big save. Wow. We just got cut open there in the middle. Marchetti was up for the save, though. Big big save. El Arribe, go. El Arribe, go. Finish it. Yes! El Arribe muscled his way in, and he finds the back of the net. Great goal. Almost messed it up, though, with that last touch. But he managed to get his stick his dive in at with his foot and bury it. Patience playing off here today. We're being very patient on the ball, not pressing too high up the pitch. Look at this again. Wow, great strike. Para was there as well on the run, but he finds the back of the net. It's 2 0. Ah, oh, the header. The header loops in. Lulik almost got it. Oof, that was close. We play of that. El Rive was going for it too, but Lula got his head to it and just sent it over. Oh, what a through ball. Oh, the shot. Oof. Getting torn up with those through balls right down the middle. Need to defend those better. It was a nice effort. Just went wide. Balls crossed in. Get rid of it, Sir Tick. Good job. And that'll do it for the first half of play. A really slow-paced first half. It, was, it just kind of drug along. We weren't really putting too much pressure on there. Um, we weren't taking a lot of shots because we didn't really need to. We were pretty clinical there in that first half. 2-0 at the break. Oh, Honda's got it. Take a shot. Oh, big save by the keeper. Whew. Honda got that ball off the foot of the defender, and he took a strike first time, and the keeper was up for it. Ah, El Arribe, nice try. Just went over the bar. It was a good ball in, far post, in the back of the box, but, yep. Oh, nice fake there. Oh, he fell down, no. Penalties given. He just barely tugged him, and he's going to get booked for it. I don't know about that one. That looked kind of questionable to me. He just kind of, as soon as he touched the ball, he dove. Let's take another look at it. Oh, he just tugged the shirt, and that's all it took. Wow. Let's see it. Where are you going to place it? Oh, big save, Marchetti. Get rid of it. Oh, unlucky. Wow, Marchetti got the save, and he pushed it onto the post, but he couldn't knock it out of play. It was a big save, but uh, he couldn't get to the rebound. Oh, nice try, Marchetti. He read it perfectly. Just couldn't parry that rebound away far enough, and just off the post and back into the middle, and it's a goal. Oh, no, the header again. They almost, we almost got FIFA'd. Oh, my. 
That ball was right on target, but he just sent it over the bar. Man, I don't know what it is about late game and these over-the-top balls, but they sure do work. And that's going to do it. The whistle's blown. We uh, get the victory here at home. 2-1. Definitely were the class of the very patient first half, but the second half we were definitely sitting back more defending. Uh, well, let's take a look at DeVry. Hopefully he's not out for a long time with that shoulder injury, but two goals, the difference, 2-1. Taking a look at the stats, um, you can see there's a very slow-paced game, not a lot of shots either way. I mean, we only put five on the net, but uh, two of them found the back of the net, which was important, but, uh, you know... A lot of a lot of fouls called on R, and we had eight fouls that match. I don't. They had more tackles, but we had more fouls. I don't tell me how that mechanic works. Uh, we had a couple hard ones, but eh, I don't know about that. Uh, a little sluggish on our end, but nothing too worried about it. Didn't feel like we were going to get dominated at any point there. Towards the end, it was getting a little iffy. It's just a shame we couldn't get the clean sheet off that penalty. Just obvious dive in the box I just a little tug on it. he didn't even pull on his shirt hardly he just had it in his hands and down he went but uh marchetti what a save just unfortunate he couldn't get keep it out on the rebound but uh we get the three points which is the important thing so let's take a look at the player's stats Marchetti gets man of the match. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. And if he would have got the clean sheet, I would have said for sure. But uh, you know, Hellaribe, uh getting the goal. I probably would have gave it to him, maybe. But he subbed off because I was trying to save some legs here, trying to get some younger players into the match. Um, I still think this formation works well. Just, I feel like in the middle we were kind of exposed. Our center backs, I mean, Zuma came in for DeVry, who got injured, and he didn't really have a great show. And he did Canna, so. I have to rethink some things here. Especially with this formation. Maybe change up some instructions for the players. But, uh, solid performance. It, it was an okay performance. Honda had that, oh, what a goal that was. Uh, he should have got man of the match, honestly. I forgot about that goal that amazing free kick from 35 yards out that should have got him man of the match easily but i think the bucking hurt him there at the end but uh he got booked for nothing either too i don't get it so all right we'll move on to the next one and welcome ladies and gentlemen to this next match in this episode it's bologna v Lazio in syria ah Take a quick look at the standings. We've crawled ourselves back up to 7th place now. Bologna are down in 19th in the relegation zone. As we take a look at the home side's lineup, uh, not a lot of players I recognize from this side that just got promoted uh, this season. Trying to fight to stay up. 4-3-1-2, very narrow formation. And for us, uh, not a lot of changes. I'm going to bring on Fernandez instead of El Aribe starting up. I'm going to move Para back up top, but everybody else keeping the same spot as the previous match. Oh, Honda, he makes a man miss. The shot! Oh, I don't know if the keeper got a touch to that. Yes, he did. Lovely little layoff play there from Honda to Fernandez, and the keeper just got his mid to it. Ah, oh, the ball doesn't find Radu. Bang it. Oh, deflected. And it's going to go out for another corner. Tried to take a touch and center it, stop the ball, but it's off the undercarriage and out for a corner. Tries to get around him. Ball's crossed in. A header one. Oh, what a volley. Oh, man. Great strike there from uh, Bologna there. The striker just sitting on top of the inside the box there. Got a brilliant ball to his feet, but he sent it wide. Look, leaves it off for Anze. Nice run. Finish it. Oh, it's off the post. Honda. Nice try. Oh, no. Nice ball. Oh, crossed in. Back post. Oh, but not on the mark.
Again, great play by Bologna, breaking it out in the in the box there, but just wide. The shot just goes wide once again. Oof. Bologna getting some good chances. We need to do something about it. Giving him way too much space to get passes off. Keeper's going to come out for take a touch. Oh, Para. Bang it. From distance. Para, yes. Oh, what a break. The keeper was coming out to clear it, and it was a poor clearance. And Para strike that ball from at least 35 yards out. Oh, the composure to, to just take his time with it and just aim it on the net and bury that shot. Oh, beautiful. Here's a replay. Of that. Look at that keeper with a mare of a clearance there. He sets up, just bangs it with that right foot into the back of the net. Right over the keeper. Had no chance. Look at this. Just dinked it over. Beautifully done. We need to That's a great time to take advantage. Here's one more look on a different angle. Just took his time with it and just poked it with a great powered strike into the back of the net. The strike. Oh, wow. Nice try there from uh, Bologna, the striker. Just sent it wide. Marchetti was just watching it. I didn't think they would play that through ball. I thought they would hold it up. Ball's crossed in. Get rid of it. Oh! They still got the shot on target. Anze is not the guy to be winning that header in the box. And luckily it's sent wide. Oh no, close him down. Oh, come on, guys. Close the ball down. We can't give away a cheap goal like that. And Bologna are back in it. Right at the eve of halftime. Nice play down the wing. Had Lulik beat. Radu was beat as well. And everybody just kind of running around. Not ball. This is what I just dislike about defending in this game. Just... What's DeVry doing? DeVry, you need to be covering that space. Don't worry about the back pass. He's not going to hit that. And literally the last kick of the game. We're getting FIFA all over again. Oh, I'm getting so sick of these scripted goals. You can't tell me that wasn't scripted like that. This game. But... Besides that, we're doing all right. Just need to do a little better to get the lead back here. 1-1 one, one at the break. Nice interception there. Play that ball over the top. Oh, it was two on one. Yes, Fernandez there. Fernandez is going to make the run. Can he finish it? Oh, he can't. Para on the rebound. Couldn't put it away. Oh, that was probably our best chance to date on the breakout there. Para tried to dink it, but uh, couldn't do it a second time. Oh, they're, they're forward. Oh, Fernandez can get another bite at it. Oh, big save. It's going to go out for... Sertic. Oh, nice save by the keeper. Oh, keeper made a big boy save there. Oh, no. Close him down. Oh, come on, guys. You're giving him too much space. And Bologna have taken the lead on a great play there. Just poor clearance. Right back to him, and they bury it. Best of the goal scorer. Just the center back pairing just isn't working. Cannon to Vree. Where are you dancing on the line there? Get up to the ball. I can put him on high pressure. I can do all kinds of stuff, but none of it works, folks. I'm telling you. And we give him another goal. Gosh, dang it. Lovely ball in. Oh, he makes a man miss. Oh. Oh, penalty in the box. Great drive by Kieta. That's on the keeper, too. What's the decision going to be? Is it a card? Oh, but it's a penalty, though. Let's take another look at this. He kept driving to the net, laid it off. Yeah, that's on a keeper. That should be a red card. Oh, the keeper gets the right way, but Honda buried it top shelf. Beautiful finish. 
Honda gets another goal. He just keeps finding goals here this season for us. Great finish. All thanks to the hard work of Kieta in the box, making the man miss down the wing and then cutting inside, forcing the penalty from the keeper. And the keeper did guess the right way. He anticipated it, but it was just hit too hard and too high on him. Couldn't get his glove to it. Kieta, you've got the pace. Oh, he's fouled once again. Oh, the shot! Yes, El Arribe founds the goal. He centers it, and El Arribe there to poach it into the back of the net. Great finish. And a foul was called on Kieta. Kieta's just been a problem since coming in as a substitute. Contributing to a second goal there, this time on the assist. And El Arribe just nice shot there. Just dinked it in between the defender and the keeper. Nice chip shot. Oh, in undercarriage shot into the back of the net. Oh, man. Bologna just can't catch a break. Keep that pressure on. No! Wow. They nearly broke us down there. Nice play from Bologna. Wow. They got behind my lines and oof, dodged a bullet. Oh, don't let him walk into space! What are we doing? Come on! Oh my gosh, guys. What is with conceding these last minute goals? Like, again, I gotta pick apart the back line. What are they doing? There's. Oh. Both of them trying to dive at it, but they're nowhere near the ball. I should have freaking six guys in the box. Why is the op middle of it wide open? Oh, my gosh. And that's going to do it and again. The second half, same as the first. We give up a last goal on the last kick of the game. Oh, my gosh. What is with this side? This should have been an easy three-point win. But we throw it away. We get the draw. Ugh. Taking a look at the stats. Oh, what can I say? It was an even fight. We had a lot of shots on target. We just didn't bury them. I mean, it really didn't feel like we were that far out of the match. I thought the ref called it a pretty decent match for once. Um, gosh, I'm just so... Uh, I can't... I don't understand why this defense... You park in the bus, there shouldn't be any space in the middle. Why is it every time we give up a goal like that, and uh, get FIFA once again. Uh, just, oh my God, it's disgusting. But uh, fair play, Bologna. They're fighting to stay up, and they get a, a cru maybe a crucial point for them. Us, uh, it's a point we actually don't need. We needed three to kind of keep chase, but uh, it is a road draw, so could be worse, I guess. Your man of the match goes to Honda. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. He had a goal and an ass no, just a goal. Uh, I might have given it to Kieta because he got the penalty and then he got the assist on the one goal. Oh, they didn't even give him an assist for that. FIFA, come on. That was a clear assist to El Arribe. El Arribe did well coming on, getting a goal. Um, God, the defense, the defense, man. We were such a good defensive team last season. What's happened to us? I, just, I don't know. Marchetti had an absolute stinker for once. Uh, he let in a lot of goals there. Three goals. Two late. One late in the first half. And then another one late in the end of this match. Uh, Para had an amazing strike from 40 yards out on the keeper's mistake. Ellery had a nice goal. And then we got the penalty as well. Oh, just frustrating. It's just frustrating when you play so well. I, like, I didn't think we played that badly. Obviously, defensively, we're a bit out of sorts. But uh, I thought everywhere else, we were doing all right. I mean, we had some clear breakaways we didn't finish. But uh, that's the nature of the game sometimes. Uh, but giving up three goals, just it still adds to this problem where this team needs a complete overhaul on the bat and the defensive side of the ball. Absolutely, in my opinion, if we, we want to get any chance of any hope of getting 
a shot at Juventus or anybody like that. But um, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I know I'm only doing two matches. Um, usually I do three, but since we're in uh, April now and we've only got a handful of matches left, if I played three, we'd be done in like two, three episodes. So I'm going to do two ep- two matches for now, just kind of string it along because uh, I'm still up in the air if I want to start a fourth season because... FIFA 16 is just around the corner, you know, it's only nearly a month or two away, so, you know, gonna try to wrap up this, get this year wrapped up, but, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll, so if you see a bit of a delay with the videos, it's just because I'm not rushing to get to the end of the season, I kind of want to end this season here, and then go from there, but another disastrous result, we should have got the win here, but, uh, uh, well, we'll just take it on the chin and move on. But until next time, folks, this is Ice Rover 31, and I'll see you around.